Many people are saying NL doesn't recognize dogs that well, and many people, including the most important person when it comes to this issue, myself, are agreeing with them. I know the names of many dogs, but I don't know the faces of that many dogs, so I thought it might be fun to prove this. Now, I promise you, first off, I'm going to press Alt-Z to use the GeForce Experience in-game overlay for Sporkle. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. Um, I... I'm going to give this my best possible effort. You may laugh at this, but none of these are going to be deliberate throws. Or maybe I'll do better than I expected, for all I know, okay? Now, these are all puppies, but everyone in chat right now is going, it's not fair, they're puppies? What's the difference? I don't get it. I, and I'm not just deliberately trying to be obtuse, okay? Play quiz. Oh, we had to name them from nothing? Okay, the first dog is a Basset Hound. It's a basset hound. Then it's a beagle. Then it's a bulldog. Then it's a... Pit bull. Okay. This is not fair. I thought I was going to have to match them. This is too easy. Because even if I get one wrong, it's right later. Like the dog in the top right, I have no idea what you are. I'm going to say that you're a Pomeranian. This is, too, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, just below that, you have a German Shepherd. I mean, uh, this is like one of the most famous dogs. Eyebrows? What is this? Eyebrows. That, that, to the left of German Shepherd is Golden Retriever. Then to the right of German Shepherd is yet another Beagle. That's a wiener dog. That's a wiener dog. Also known as a Dachshund. Okay. Then, that's a pug. It's the cutest dog in the world. Okay. This is Beethoven. That is called a Saint Bernard. Um, never mind. Uh, okay. Okay. Hold on. There's a poodle. I see a poodle. <laughs> I'm in trouble, man. <laughs> like, look. I've seen this dog before. Are you, um, are you called a... No, I know you're a Sharpe. Sharp Sharpie? Sharpe? That's not even a Sharpe. Um This dog, that's a golden lab. Hey! Okay. I I've seen you, but I don't know which are you a husky? Maybe you're a husky. Okay, well. Now, this is a, a French bulldog. This is a, this is a bulldog. That's a chihuahua. I don't know any of these dogs. This is a Sharpe? Okay, obviously that's a Pomeranian. That's a Sharpe? What are you? Are you a, um, one of these fuckers is a Cocker Spaniel. There's no doubt. I see a Corgi. That's a given. I see Eddie from, uh, Frasier. I see Eddie from Frasier. That's a Jack Russell. Yes. I'm going to guess that bottom center is a shit zoo. Something like that. Dude, honestly, I'm done. I, I don't know. I don't know what these are. I have to give up. And even then, the ones that I, like, got, many of the ones I got, I shouldn't have gotten. Because, like, I, I thought they, I got them wrong. This is a Great Dane. That's a Rottweiler. Okay, from the Snoop Dogg album covers. A Bernese Mountain Dog, a Chow Chow. Boston Terrier Greyhound. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Australian Shepherd, a Bichon Frise, of course. A Bichon Frise. Okay, we can... I want a quiz that is like this, but inverted. Where they give us the name, and we have to click on which one it is. Just to keep us honest. So I'm going back a little bit. Dog Breeds. I'm looking for another one. Dog Breeds by any three letters. Can you click the Dog Breeds in the image below? Oh, this is it, man. This is the one. I, 
I could, I could, I could do this. Lasso, Apso. I only have three minutes. I'm going to pass. Maltese, I'm going to pass. Dalmatian. It's you. Let's go. Old English Sheepdog. I'm going to guess probably you, but let's... That Dashund, Samoyed. I know this one. It's the Husky. Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Okay, Great Dane. It's the tallest dog. Oh! We honor. Pembroke Welsh Corgi. We should be able to get this. There you go. German Shepherd. I'm looking for an officer of the law. Italian Greyhound. That's you. Ooh. An Offen Pincher. I have no idea. A Kishond. I've never even heard of it. Irish Setter. I've heard of you. I've heard of you. I have no idea. Labrador Retriever. It's you. Boxer. It's you. No, it's you. It's you. It's you. Beagle, wishbone. Where's wishbone? Wishbone. Papillon. That's a butterfly. You can't trick me. Bulldog. A bulldog is you. Ah, oh, it's so obviously not you. Bro, none of these are pugs. I can't believe I only have 90 seconds left. None of you are pug. Oh, no, is this one in the middle? <laughs> okay. Miniature Schnauzer. That's you. Kate's dad had a dog that was a mini Schnauzer. That's the only reason I know that. Okay. Lasso, Opso. There's like five of the same dog on here. Maltese. Old English sheepdog. That's got to be your ass. Bull Terrier. It's got to be you, man. A Huimaraner. I'm going to guess that as you. Nope. Uh, an Affin Pincher. That's probably you. A Quichon. It's French. You look French. Mmm, that hurts. Irish Setter. Probably you. Papillon. You have butterfly ears. It only makes sense. Lasso, Abso, and Maltese. These are the same dogs. You're a lasso opso. You, wait, yes, I was right. I just clicked on the wrong one. Okay, how did I do? I don't think I did that bad. Sixty-four. It's not as bad as I thought I would do, honestly. What the heck? Weird-looking animals. I gotta check. What the hell? The panther chameleon. I feel like it might be you, but just give me a second. Okay, look, find an antelope. You're an antelope. Antarctic ice fish. I'm going to, you're the chameleon. What am I talking about? I don't know the ice fish yet. What the heck is a patu? <laughs> Are you patu? Wilson's bird of paradise. Are you a bird of paradise? You honestly, you look like you're on your way to the Met Gala. You're th this is probably a bird of paradise, a goblin shark. That's got to be you. Shoe bill. That's a gimme. You've got to be the black rain frog, the pangolin, hummingbird, hawk moth. I <laughs> bet is you. Oh, why did I think the hawk? Okay, mantis shrimp. Isn't it? It's the most powerful uh, unit by weight, right? Okay, is that guy? Red-lipped batfish. Must be you. Thorny devil. I mean, you think that would be a pretty easy one. Leafy sea dragon. Anglerfish. Hammerhead bat. Antarctic ice fish. Patu. We got exactly the average score. Bullet shrimp. He's going off. I mean, these are good, man. These, I love these quizzes, but I kind of want to go back to dogs. Like, surely there's got to be more dog-based quizzes. Okay, are we going to do... Let's do the bit, okay? Here's the bit. Aren't you a bio major? Yes. And then I tell you that biology um, undergraduate classes are not name the weird-looking animal. And then you already knew that, but we get a few plus twos. Find the dog breeds too. Okay, it's the same thing. I'm ready. 
for full screen geo duels. A Newfoundland. That's uh, a mission in XCOM. Nice try. Sharpay. We just saw one. It's you. We just saw this. Bernice Mountain Dog. It's you, right? Yeah, it's you. Shetland Sheepdog. Couldn't tell you. Border Collie. Could tell you. English Cocker Spaniel. This is one of those dogs I hear about a lot. I'm not sure I ever see. Are you a Cocker Spaniel? Was Lassie a Cocker Spaniel? That seems plausible. Never mind. English Bull Terrier. You're a Bull Terrier. I know that because of Don Cherry's Coach's Corner. Bichon Frise is you. Shiba Inu. Australian Cattle Dog. Doesn't this guy just kind of look Australian? No, this guy looks Australian. <laughs> so true. Okay, Chihuahua, that's a gimme. Yorkshire Terrier. That's got to be... You're a French Bulldog. Yorkshire Terrier. What the hell delineates a Terrier? You're probably a Yorkshire Terrier. You're a miniature poodle. Doberman Pinscher. That's got to be you. Rottweiler. That's you. Siberian Husky. That's you. Pomeranian. Right there. A Shih Tzu. Right here. French Bulldog. Three remaining. But we... You're Chinese crested. We have Newfoundland and Sheepdog. There, this is Newfoundland. There's no way they would call this Newfoundland. So we actually crushed that one. 90% we beat the average. None of this is going to stay in my head, just for the record. But like... I didn't... What is the... Is a Cocker Spaniel a type of dog? Like, there's like 20 Terriers. There's a few Collies. There's a few Labradors. Um, there's a few Terriers. What's the, what's the deal with like a... a the, what's the difference between a Cocker Spaniel and a Terrier? Don't call this dog the bitch on fries, Okay. It's a Bichon Frise. It's a very dignified dog. It has to get its hair cut more often than the people who own it, okay? Cocker Spaniels have large floppy ears. Okay, but so does a, a Shih Tzu. Is a Shih Tzu just like a, a Cocker Spaniel, but they gave it kind of like a bougie name? No, yes, no, no, yes. So does my St. Bernard. Don't make fun of the Bull Terrier. That was Don Cherry's dog. I mean, I like the guy, but the dog was innocent, as far as I know. Can you choose the correct dog breed for each hint? No, this is not what I'm looking for. You know what? So dog breeds are like... Middle difficulty, cat breed is impossible. In fact, it's so impossible they don't even have uh, any quizzes. No, they do have, they have one quiz. Can you name the cat breeds shown below? <laughs> I'll do my best. I've, I, I need to let you know that I have owned cats essentially my whole life. Um, one of you is a Scottish fold and it's, it's this one right here. And then I also see a, a Sphinx and then, um, okay. I think you might be a Himalayan cat. You might be a Siamese cat. Okay. Um, you, Ken has cheeseburger. Y 
You've got to be called like a like a lynx or something like that, right? You got to be like a lynx cat or like um, a wild cat. Are you just like a, are you a puma? They snuck a puma in here. Arctic fox, Arctic chill, spearmint, tailless, stubby. Snub-nosed, um, orange, mottled, gray. There's no way one of you two is not Calico, right? Okay, never mind. Wait, 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 okay, um... I don't know any any other cats, man. I give up. There's no way. Okay? British short hair, Singapura, Japanese bobtail. You ever see the uh, that Japanese baseball game where they made up all the American players names and they're like Bobson Dugnut and stuff like that? That's how this feels right now. Like, Egyptian meow? Come on. I don't believe that that actually... That you're exactly right. That's like Steve McDichael. The Ossicat. The Manx? I simply don't believe it. How did I do, by the way? Well, the average is 43. Holy cow. I mean, there's some truth to that meme image, right? That's like, hey, what breed is your dog? Oh, they're a Shih Tzu cross with a French bulldog. And then the bottom image is, what breed is your cat? Gray? Like, this is, the, this is true, man. I even have cats. But here's the thing. Like, my cats are supposed to be rag dolls but they don't even look alike i don't know and rag dolls are supposed to be like um when you pick them up they just hang that's not the way it is man they they squirm like we we're basically just trusting the the person we bought the cat from to be like oh yeah this is a rag doll it's not like i'm gonna run like a 23 and me or something I guess Tomo kind of hangs. That's true. Can you identify the breeds of cat? Just give me a second. <laughs> oh, come on, man. This, I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, here we go. Abyssinian. I pass. Devon Rex. I pass. Japanese Bobtail. I remember it. It was cute. I think it, you might be a Japanese Bobtail. Ragdoll. Okay. So you're sup that's what ragdolls are supposed to look like. Himalayan is like this right here. Sphinx. Hairless. Javanese. I have no idea. Persian. I feel like it might be you. Oh, really? That looks nothing like the Pokemon, man. Now I'm thinking, like, which one of you was Egyptian meow? It was you or you? I'm going to say you. <laughs> Large cat. The largest of all cats. Okay, never mind. Bengal. This should look the most like a tiger. Cephalic. Scottish fold. Snowshoe cat. You're the snow. Turkish angora. No, okay. British short hair. American curl. Abyssinian. Devon Rex. Javanese. Well, I got like maybe 10 wrong in a row on that one. But I felt like the start of that didn't go too bad. It's not really a throw. I don't I just don't know them. I don't think anybody knows them.
I mean, that's if if you want to get insane, like, how about bird species? You know, it's harder because it's not even called a breed anymore. Can you choose the correct bird skull for each species? No, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think I can, quite frankly. Bird breeds. Countries with penguins. Find the horse animals. Breeding birds of Switzerland. Sure, why not? Can you name the breeding birds of Switzerland? This is the first time I've ever seen this in my life uh, on Sporkle. I think I can't answer a single question. I don't even understand how to how to answer this. Can you name the breeding birds of, of Switzerland? I don't even know. I don't know the barn, the barn owls from the babblers, from the bee eaters, from the hoopoos to the kingfishers and the long-tailed tits. Chicken. All right, I give up. <laughs> Let's end this malarkey. Okay, sporkle. Do not give me a random quiz. Let me get some editor's choices. Let me get some staff picks. I trust, I love the staff picks, okay? How about most densely populated countries from A to Z? Can you name the most densely populated country that begins with each letter of the alphabet? Maybe. I'll give it a try. I'm going to move my camera first. Yep. Densely populated. Densely populated. Okay. So, I think in terms of density, Azerbaijan, I mean Afghanistan, I mean... I pass. <laughs> Angola? Andorra? A is too hard, man. Are Argentina? Armenia? How many countries start with A on this damn planet, man? Austria? Here, Chad, give me this one so we can just get started, okay? Al Albania? Antigua? I can't be spending this much time on one. Australia? There's no way it's Australia. I thought I did Algeria. I did Andorra. I did Andorra. I'm dead, man. I'm dead. I did Austria. Antigua and Barbuda? No, oh, what is impossible? Okay. B, 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 Bangladesh. Uh, bar Barbuda, it, follow, it stands the reason Barbuda, Barbados, mm, ba Benghazi, ben Belgium, there's no way it's going to be Belgium, man, um, Botswana, there's no way it's going to be Botswana, you go on safari there, I'm dead, Beirut, I need help, that's not even a country, Bhutan, it's all, it's where Mount Everest is, man, Belarus, Brunei, 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 uh, Brunei, Brazil, it's impossible. It's the hardest quiz of all time. Bolivia. It's got to be a country like in the Caribbean or something like that. Bahamas. Great. Oh, what? Belize? Bahrain? Bahrain. Okay. C, C, C. Cuba. Oh, my God. Um, Central African Republic. I'm just looking at chat. China. Good guess. Good guess. Unfortunately, is wrong. Cyprus? It's population density, man. This is a nightmare. There's no way Chile has more population density than China. Cambodia? I can see it. I can see it. Can? Costa Rica? We should be thinking small countries. Colombia. I've seen Croatia in GeoGuessr. There's no way it's true. Small Cyprus. Did I already guess that 10 times? Cameroon? I already guess Cuba for sure. I'll type Chile. It's not Chile, but I'll type it. Comoros, Comoros Islands. Oh my God. Okay, D. <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work. This quiz is impossible. Djibouti. D. 
Dominican Republic, great guess. Good, good job, good job. Estonia, no. Eswatini, no. Um, East, I don't even know this is a country anymore, I apologize. Ethiopia? Ecuador, good guess, good guess. Equatorial Guinea, e even better guess. Eritrea, El Salvador, good, amazing guess. F, I don't think it's Finland, but I thought of it. Frisia. <laughs> Faroe Islands, not a country apparently. Fiji, France, France, who would have expected? Okay, G, you got to try Germany. You got to try... Ghana? Guinea Bissau? Bizu? Bizu? Guam? Guatemala? I don't think it's going to be Georgia, but it does start with G. Greece? Grenada? Granada, I, I apologize if I didn't know it was a country. I thought it was like I thought it was part of England or Morocco. I can't remember. Um, H, Haiti, I, Ireland, maybe more than Iceland. There's no way it's Iceland. The Isle of Man, the Isle of Easter, India. Great guess. Great guess. It's a very good point. It's a good guess. J, J. Oh, Japan. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I don't think they're going to take that, but Kazakhstan? Not a lot of population density, but Kuwait stole it from chat. was a good guess. Kiribati? Mm, St. Kitts and Nevis. Kenya! There's Kosovo, I can see. Okay, there's no way it's going to be Kyrgyzstan. Liechtenstein, Luxembourg. It's got to be Liechtenstein. It's got to be Liechtenstein or Lebanon, which I completely stole from chat. I'm happy to admit it. Uh, M. Mauritania, Mauritius, Monaco. Great guess. I never would have thought about it. N, new booty. I give up. I'm done. This is too hard. What staff member picked this? It's impossible. It can't be done. It's the hardest quiz I've ever seen in my entire life. My word. Well, I, I had scored the average, but I stole almost all my answers from chat. So, like... In fact, if I'm looking at this honestly, I think the only one I did for myself was Japan. <laughs> Pull me out of here. Okay, other staff picks. 2010's pop culture. I'll, I, I can try. I was alive throughout the 2010s, but it is also the uh, decade where I stopped paying attention to culture in general. Um... I'll give it my best, though. Where did 1.7 million people sign up to Storm in 2019? Area 51. Which founding father was the subject? Okay, it's Alexander Hamilton. Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. That's Rebecca Black. The world did not end in 2012, though the Mayan calendar predicted it. The Ice Bucket Challenge was uh, in support of ALS, a neurodegenerative disease. Lady Gaga wore a meat dress to the MTV Music Awards. Stop Coney was for Uganda. The 2017 Oscar originally went to La La Land, according to Steve Harvey. Which Spanish fresco was badly restored by a local woman? It became known as Potato Jesus. Um, I don't know the name of it, but I'm just going to say is, is that one. Uh, an egg is the most liked image on Instagram. How was Tardar Sauce better known? I'm going to say that was Grumpy Cat. Who finally got the Oscar for The Revenant? Leonardo DiCaprio. We're still waiting on Ben Stiller's. Planking became popular. Harambe was a, a gorilla. And Banksy's photo self-destructed. This is too easy. 
on a map, North America in the 2010s. Can you find the countries of North America for each 2010s fact? Look, they're not going to pay for that wall. I'm pretty sure that's America. Oh, wait. <laughs> I gave up. I don't deserve to do this quiz. Oh, man. What's the average? 57? All right, well. Moving on. You tried. Oh, whew, okay. What else we got? How about this? This looks like it'll break my brain. Binary Logic Grid 4 by Susan300. Can you successfully solve this binary logic puzzle by filling in the empty cells correctly with ones and zeros? No, I'm not going to do that, Susan. I'm sorry. How about post-apocalyptic movies picture click? I, th I think I can do this, but I honestly think it's going to be a little bit too easy. But I can do it. I mean, Snowpiercer, it's, you, it, you're on a train. You're on a train in the movie Snowpiercer. I'm pretty sure that it's this one. But I'm going to wait on it. I've seen Snowpiercer. I'm going to wait on it just for a second. The Road, we got you. We're going to pass. The Matrix, we got you. Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. This is 12 Monkeys. Okay, it's not going to be too easy. Zardos, I see Sean Connery with his shirt off. I know where we are. Waterworld, I would like to see Kevin Costner. There he is, 12 Monkeys. Book of Eli, Book of Eli is Denzel Washington. There he is. Planet of the Apes, it's probably this one. Battlefield Earth, John Travolta. Oblivion, Tom Cruise. Terminator Salvation, Christian Bale. City of Ember. It was underground. Snowpiercer was on a train. The Omega Man. It's got to be you, probably. I don't know. What are, no, you're Mad Max. Okay, so you're the Omega Man. You're a boy and his dog. You're Mad Max. Is, is this supposed to be hard? Don't say you knew Planet of the Apes because you saw Charlton Heston. There's two... That's... Cornelius and Zora, okay? Put some respect on their names. In the third Planet of the Apes movie, they went back in time the same way that Charlton Heston went forward in time in the first movie. Then they became the, the first sentient human-like apes in 1970s America. They imprisoned Cornelius, and that's how he... You see, when I, it creates a circuitous loop where because the Charlton Heston came to the future, the apes knew that they used to be subservient to humans in the past. Cornelius wants to go to the past to study it. He gets imprisoned and becomes the ape that frees the other apes from their captivity. It's like a, it's an endless loop, man. It's the grandfather paradox. They don't really cover that in the show, though. This is too easy, man. Like, let's do one more because it feels good after getting zero on that one quiz. Romantic comedies, picture click. It's, it's, the picture clicks are too easy, unless we're talking about dogs. 500 Days of Summer. We're looking for Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Zoe Deschanel. City Lights, unknown. You can't take it with you, unknown. The artist is black and white. You've got mail. We're looking for Tom Cruise. But, I mean, Tom Hanks. But... No, that's it. That's not Sleepless in Seattle, because that's older Tom Cruise. Pretty Woman, we're looking for Julia Roberts. Splash, we're looking for Tom Hanks and a Mermaid. Tom Hanks has been in a lot of romantic comedies. It's Tom Hanks and a Mermaid. It's got to be this. Amelie, that would probably be right there. As Good As It Gets, pretty fucked up movie. Jack Nicholson tries to kill a, a dog within like the first 10 minutes. It won Best Picture. When Harry Met Sally, we're looking for uh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan. Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan. I don't immediately see it. I'm going to pass just for a moment here. Four Weddings and a Funeral. That's a Hugh Grant classic. Never seen it. Something About Mary. Eternal Sunshine. The Apartment. One Best Picture in 1960. Uh, stars Jack Lemmon. I'm going to assume it has to be you. Fun fact, is the last black and white movie to win Best Picture until The Artist. Roman Holiday. 
Silver Linings Playbook. We got a little Bradley Cooper garbage bag. My Big Fat Greek Wedding. That's uh, Nia Vardalos. Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is another Audrey Hepburn classic here. That's got to be this one. Notting Hill. That's Hugh Grant. Julia Roberts. Moonstruck is Cher. City Lights. Okay, now this is When Harry Met Sally. When Harry Met Sally is not Tom Hanks. I don't know what I was thinking. We got City Lights and we got You Can't Take It With You. I would say Charlie Chapman definitely sounds more like a City Lights type of guy. You can't take it with you. It's that easy. It's just... It's just a flow chart. Did I call him Charlie Chapman? My mistake. Average score, 84%. Screwball comedy movies, picture click, I gotta check it, but here's the thing, uh, they're all in black and white. I wanted to check just to make sure that there were no exposed nipples, but instead they're all from like the 1930s, movies I don't respect. How about, dude, I mean we could do these till the cows come home, let's just pick some, some specials. How about, how about. I'm going back to the first one. Adventure movies? Nah, man. How about alien invasion movies picture click? I can do this. I can definitely do this. I'm a little upset just to begin with, okay? Because I'm pretty sure that this is Signs and I'm pissed off. Because I never wanted to see a still shot of the alien from Signs. It looks so ass. It's so bad. <laughs> it's, it's so horrible, man. I, it, it, it's only scary in motion. When you just take a picture of it like that, that's, that's horrible. Okay. Slither. Yeah, okay. I've seen it. Um, it's James Gunn. Is this one? That's Predator. The World's End. That's, okay, we got the whole bottom row. Quarter Mass, I have no idea. The Avengers also known as Marvel's Avengers Assembled. That would be this one. That's the Chitari Warship. Signs, that's you right there. Men in Black, that's this one. Orion's Belt, the galaxy is in Orion's Belt. War of the Worlds, well, it depends. I'm going to guess that it's, it, okay, it's this one right here. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Again, we got to figure out what, what version, because they made about a thousand of them. Um, it could be you, it could be you. I'm not sure yet. Independence Day is definitely you. Transformers. District 9, Space Jam, Little Shop of Horrors. I mean, that's too easy. Mars Attacks. We got Quarter Mass 2, Enemy from Space, and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So here's my thinking. This, look like, this looks like it's shot like there's an enemy from space here. And Invasion of the Body Snatchers is a little bit more of like a thriller. So I think Invasion... Well, you know what? My mistake. My mistake on that one. If what they should have done, they should have taken the Donald Sutherland. Have we done, dude? I'm only realizing now Donald Sutherland identifying uh, of the last real human in San Francisco was actually the original bat chesting Wojak. If you go look up. Just type Invasion of the Body Snatchers 1977 uh, into Google Image Search. It'll bring up this image of the, the mayor of Panem from The Hunger Games. Sorry, I had to zoomify it just so you would stay with me. Um, and he's going to be going... It would actually make a great reaction image. True, true, true. Just throwing that out there. If you're looking for good reaction images to make... What the heck? I'm just making sure none of these are NSFW. Sure, we can do this. These are black comedy movies picture click, okay? He's done it. He's done it. I don't know this one, and that's scary. Adaptation. I know this. It's Nicolas Cage. It's one of my favorite movies. It's Nicolas Cage and Nicolas Cage. I mean, this certainly seems like Chris Cooper and uh, Susan Orlean as played by Meryl Streep. 
Serial Mom definitely looks like that. American Psycho, that's Christian Bale. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Pass. This is the end. That's Seth Rogen and his boxers. Network, this guy's mad as hell and not going to take it. Delicatessen, I got to be honest, you're a safe bet right now. Gross Point Blank, that's John Cusack. Dr. Strangelove. Death at a Funeral, Peter Dinklage. Fargo, Marge Gunderson. War of the Roses, I actually think this is War of the Roses. Never mind. That's my mistake. I, kn I knew it starred Kathleen Turner, though. Oh, maybe there's an older one. Where's my death to Smoochie? Death to Smoochie. Throw Mama from the train. Not baited. Harold and Maude, right there. Serial Mom. It's got to be this. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? It's got to be this. Delicatessen has got to be this. Kind Hearts and Coronet's got to be this. We did okay. 94. Go watch Death to Smoochie. I hate to say it. Death to Smoochie is not that good. How about coming of age movies picture click? I can do this. Considering it stars Ed Norton, Robin Williams, and Jon Stewart, and Danny DeVito, Death to Smoochie is kind of like... It doesn't hold up to the incredible weight of its cast. Coming-of-age movies. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Seen it a thousand times. Boyhood. Rushmore. One of my favorite movies. Nice OR Scrubs guy. These are... Uh, wait, nice... I did the joke completely wrong. Never mind, I just give up. That's Rushmore. I've, I've rushed the punchline. I'm out of here. Welcome to the Dollhouse. We're going to pass on that. The Goonies. That's this one. To Kill a Mockingbird. Spoilers, dude. Okay, The Sandlot. That's uh, legit was going to click on, on that. Um, this is The Sandlot. I'm going to guess that that's Boys in the Hood. Almost Famous right here. Breaking Away. It's got to be this. Precious. What's the subtitle of Precious. How I stopped, uh, how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Based on the novel Push by Sapphire. Thank you, thank you. The Last Picture Show. We're going to pass on that. Stand by me. Whale Rider. I think it might be this. Dirty Dancing. The 400 Blows. Boyhood. It must be you. Because Boyhood, I've never seen it, but it's directed by Richard Linkletter, and this has Ethan Hawke in it. And Ethan Hawke is in every Richard Linkletter movie, which is why we know that Richard Linkletter stealth-directed um, Moon Knight. Welcome to the Dollhouse. It's got to be this. Last Picture Show. Got to be this. Whale Rider. Okay, we're back. It's a little easy. Honestly, I think I got to go. I, we got to challenge ourselves. If you don't challenge yourself, you stay in the same spot, man. Bro, why do you know all this shit? I don't know, okay? We're going back to... Oh, how about this? <laughs> uh, uh. 20 actors, 40 TV roles. Can you match the two characters to the actor or actress that portrayed both? I don't even know how to think about it, really. I don't fully understand. Sam Malone and Dr. John Becker were both played by Ted Danson. Thomas Magnum and NYPD Commissioner Frank Regan, I have no idea. Mary Beth Lacey and Maxine Gray, I have no idea. Francis Muldoon and Herman Munster, I can get this. Fred Gwynn. Elaine Bennis and Selena Meyer, that's Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Carlton Banks was played by Alfonso Ribeiro. Daphne Moon and Joy Scroggs. Joan Watson and Jessica Tang. I feel like you're a voice actress. Could you be Katie Seagal? Dr. Fraser Crane and Sideshow Bob, that's Kelsey Grammer. Kelly Kapoor was played by Mindy Kaling. Venus Flytrap and Ray Campbell. Dennis Finch and Ray Russell Dunbar. Finch was played by David Spade in Just Shoot Me. Peggy Bundy was Katie Seagal. Black Adder and Mr. Bean, that's Rowan Atkinson. Archie Bunker. Um, I feel like that was played by Carol O'Connor. 
Pamela James Tina Butler. No idea. Rhoda Morgan Stern and Valerie Hogan. Summer Roberts and Dr. Zoe Hart. This is Rachel Bilson from the OC. Mike Biggs and Robert Bob Wheeler. N unknown. Bridget Steinberg and Elise Keaton. So this was somebody who was on Family Ties. Thomas Magnum. This is, I now realize it's Tom, Tom Selleck. Mary Beth Lacey. Maxine Gray. Daphne Moon. Okay, so Daphne was played by Jane Levis in Frasier. Joan Watson, Jessica Tang. I'm now realizing it's probably Lucy Liu. Venus Flytrap, Ray Campbell. Pamela James, Tina Butler. Rhoda Morgenstern. Okay, there's... This is tough. I'm kind of just throwing. Like, I'm just throwing answers out there. I don't recognize any of these names. Rhoda Morgenstern was definitely played by Tyne Daly. Mike Biggs was a Billy Gardell joint. Elise Keaton was played by Valerie Harper. Mary Beth Lacey, that's Valerie Harper. Ray Campbell, Tim Reed, 100%. Now, Valerie Harper probably did that one. Okay, dude, honestly, I thought we did pretty well still. I don't know who any of these other people are, quite frankly. Mm. Yeah, okay, name a woman, name a woman. Sure, I did, the, the average was so high on this, but like only nerds like me would even take this quiz to begin with. Everybody else is just trying to do faster, um, name 50 states with no outlines over and over. 